Hey Capricorn, how y'all doing? <laughs> I heard you been looking for me. Some of y'all little pals been in the comments. Where is Capricorn? Sea goats? You been looking for me? It ain't my fault y'all ladies. It's not my fault. They voted over there. This is going to be the spiritual conversations for the sign of the sea goat. <laughs> half Pisces, half Sagittarius, half. What is a sea goat? I feel like starting something with y'all. I really do. I really, really do. Because I just feel like y'all was sitting over there with y'all little pals doing this shit. Come on, Lulu, you on borrowed time? Not at all. I'm on my time. Not on Capricorn's time. I can only imagine what y'all schedules look like. I don't want no poets. Stop trying to bring that over here, your schedule and your way of doing things. You are not in control over here on this side. Since so y'all like the control. Where is that deck? The deck that sent them muerta. The Capricorn in that deck is y'all. I don't care what nobody say. That is y'all over there. The Capricorn, the, the card for the devil in that deck. It's y'all. I like to tell people what they're doing. Have them on little puppet strings. I know. What do you have for the seagull? Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. <laughs> Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I finally did it for you. I finally, you, I've been summoned. I've been summoned. I don't like being summoned. Capricorn's all in the, nobody is, yeah. Um, hi. If you're, if you're, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. Capricorn shit. I don't know who y'all talking to. Whatever. Uh, the 90 Day Journey to Mindfulness here is available now on Amazon.com. So you can pick that up there or on my website. The website has the coil bound. Amazon has the spine. I'm pretty sure y'all know what that means because y'all have the spine. What do you have for the Capricorn? Thank you. Surrender denial. So some of y'all on here like, nah, I've been chilling. See you. Nope. You you in denial. Denial. A, a river in Egypt. That's where you been. Surrender to effortlessness. Surrender unhealthy relationships. Surrender denial. Hmm? Surrender effortlessness. She is effortlessly hanging like a swing from a tree. Surrender unhealthy relationships. No matter how much it may hurt you, let's take our time. Now, accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. See, right now you can't see things clearly. Self-inflicted blindfold. Hmm? Trying not to see what the truth absolutely and positively is right there in your face. What are you doing? Look at you. Gonna bump into a wall. Mm -hmm. Can't even admire a good day. Can't even admire this beautiful day. Hmm? What are you doing? Surrender to effortlessness here. Now, you may be channeling your solar plexus energy. You may be channeling your um, how to, I will, I use, whatever your mantra is. You may be channeling it and, and um, needing to um, self-preserve a little more here because you may be channeling it the wrong way. I say that. because of how that light is coming through that window here. How that light is coming through that window. Chill. 
things are going to happen when they're supposed to. Once you open your eyes and see the truth for what it is, then you can stop pushing so hard. Stop trying to make things be what they're not. Stop trying to do things that are not required of you. Overdoing it, probably. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Somebody had it last month. I don't think it was y'all. Y'all. It was Aries. Don't try. Don't. Hold on. <clears throat> don't try to force the river. <clears throat> do re mi fa so la ti do. Do re mi. <clears throat> Can't give too much to y'all because this is free. Now, <clears throat> the art of meaning, the art of living means go with the flow, don't try to force the river. Go with the flow, don't try to force the river. Go with the flow, don't try to force the river. Look, pause with your look, pause ass. Surrender unhealthy relationships. It's time for you to let some things go. It's time for you to let bygones be bygones. Accept an apology that you may not receive. Go ahead and rip your heart out. You barely use your emotions anyway, the way that us other people, well, me personally, I'm an inanimate object. But if I had those type of emotions, I wouldn't do what y'all doing. Whatever. Go on ahead, look at you. Oh, the pain, the suffering. Oh. Just get over it, right there. Let go of relationships that don't serve you. It says it right here. Including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people, Capricorn. You're refusing to see that it don't take that much to be with somebody. See, that's what these cards are saying. Put it together, here we are. You're refusing to see what's right in your face. Turn the blind eye to it. The bitch gonna steal your wallet, sir. You need to pay attention. Don't let her put Visine in your drink. That's what they used to do back in the day. I don't know what kind of roof is they doing now, but you need to pay attention before you fall off real bad there, sir. That's what they say. You, you denying that it doesn't take that much to try and be with somebody. You don't have to do all that. You're overdoing it, Capricorn. You're trying to conquer a mountain that ain't yours. Yours. It's right here. Oh, you don't believe me. Okay, let's see what's going on. What is this right here? Because it said it right there. Accept people in situations as they are. Stop pushing so hard. Hmm? You deserve to be treasured. It take a lot to use them little piles and that big old ass body to go <laughs> to climb a mountain. Whatever. Y'all click. They Capricorns all over the world are clicking off this video. <laughs> Left and right. Oh, girl. Shadow band in the way. I don't give a damn. What's this? Surrender to denial. Surrender denial for Capricorns. Look at this. You have the mental clarity that you need. The whole deck is upside down. So, hold on. You have the mental clarity that you need. But you're still trying to... Uh, not see what is there. Once you see, you can't unsee. It's time to move forward with this six of swords. With the six of swords, this is the mental clarity that you need in order for you to know that whatever confusion, chaos, um, conflicting conversation, hmm? confusing and chaotic mental somebody might have been playing mind games i don't know somebody gonna be in the comments say it was y'all keep in mind you don't know them personally they have their own situation going six of swords finally seeing things for what they are when you're ready to maybe you're ready to tomorrow we'll give you time what is this surrender to effortlessness that came out right Block them. Cut it off. Cut it out. Discontinue communication. Okay. Don't y'all like muscles, muscular legs, and y'all like your knees played with and all types of shit and uh, woody um, fragrances and pheromones and things of that nature? Well, do some of that right there because I get that from her. The woman got strong-ass legs. 
I aspire. Uh, maybe in my next lifetime. Cause Capricorn making me tired of them little ass hooves. Now, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's finally time for you to go ahead and cut it out. Maybe someone blocked you and you've been trying to get to them. You didn't email them and everything. The most. I don't think Capricorn doing that, though. I don't think y'all doing that, honey. Clarify this, Ace of Swords in reverse. Look at you. And some of you are trying your best to uh, make sense of a situation. And by doing so, you're just drilling yourself into the ground. Don't y'all go. Why are y'all going into the ground? Seagull, move forward. What is this? Uh, Ace of uh, Swords. Look, you want what you want. Look at Capcom. Oh, how I've waited for you all of my life. I just want things to be right if you would only talk to me. It's either you or them. One person's been blocked. The other person is trying to get their way. Why can't it be better? Why can't we do this and that and that and this? It's confusing. I'm telling you. The man has three cups over his head. She has four cups over her head. It got old. It's played out. Ain't no more. Whichever way, okay? If y'all want to roll reverse or whatever. However y'all play y'all little game. She ain't got, she doesn't want to hear it anymore. She's tired of it. He's talking about, oh, all of the, my player ways and all the things that I've done is, it's in, it's, it's behind me. Yeah, because your pocket and your, your, your phone is in your back pocket, sir. Your player ways in your phone. <sighs> Pay attention, Capricorn. Now, what is this surrender unhealthy uh, relationships? Go ahead and move forward. Page of Wands. This might be new to you. You may even have the spirit of moving forward briskly, hurriedly, speedily, <laughs> expeditiously. <laughs> expeditiously. Okay. Page of Wands. Someone is really coming in to say something, though. They are not giving up. And I feel like whatever it is that they say, they're going to put their foot in their mouth. I feel like they're gonna put their foot in their mouth. Look how this woman is on this horse. She ain't got no saddle. She ain't got no saddle. She look bigger than the horse. She looks bigger than the horse and she has her wand in her hand. She don't have a good grip on the direction. If she plan on going to war with this wand, she about to get fucked up. Look at her. She gonna get fucked up. Hmm. So be mindful of that. There may be some type of uh, passionate or not, not, it's not even passionate. Well, it could be passion. Because someone may really be in their feelings and they express themselves aggressively. Because someone is putting their foot in their mouth. Now, whatever the page of one means to you, well, that's what, it, you know, take it like that. What is this page of ones talking about with Capricorn? See, two of cups. This way. Someone wants to take the relationship to the next level. They want to make this work. They want to do what is right. So now you see here with this wish fulfillment. Here. So this must be a relationship. Maybe that's why y'all ask. Because, you know, y'all don't bother nobody. Y'all don't be bothering nobody. Y'all appreciate people that's doing something with themselves. And that's what I've been doing. Hmm? Thank you. Now, here's the difference. <clears throat> I don't know if, I don't know who getting chose. But someone is getting chose moving toward another person. So it's either you or, look, I don't know your life. Now look at the difference. Hmm? Now someone wants to try and make things right. They want to try and do things right. They want to um, put their best foot forward. They probably got three feet. Now then, so you have to really be specific when you are talking to this person. Because I really feel like you're going to really need to be, uh, don't talk to them from a space of emotion. Don't talk to them from a space of um, a dream you had last night. Okay? You got to be real. You got to be on your tippy toes. Because uh, if you give them a piece, uh, they're going to take the whole thing. And they're going to run with it. And they're going to run with it the wrong way and use it against you. They're going to call you crazy. Well, you know, you be talking about all this old dream shit. 
It's right there. They're looking for a reason. They're looking for a way to snake out some shit. So you just have to be very, very straight up with them. Because what I'm getting here is that it goes from um, this energy, like the past is in the past, right? It goes from that energy to this one, trying to do everything. This person is making more eye contact and not touching. They're making eye contact and not really touching. They're only touching um, with a meeting of emotion, a meeting of the uh, emotional mind. M maybe... I don't know why I feel like body memory or something like that. It's what you're used to. But this look like two different people. Women. But, I mean, you never know. He probably, you know, permed his hair. Now, clarify this two of cups and this page of wands. You just want to be out of the situation. You just want to move forward. You want to be in, um, you want the freedom to do whatever it is that you want to, when you want to, and how you want to. You want adventure in your life. Um, it's also possible that you are in a space. You may even take a leap of faith with this person, but this may be someone else. I don't even know because this is clarifying surrender and healthy relationships. And like I said, this looks like two different people that's going on right here. And this one, the woman don't want to deal. She don't want to go through any of the things that she's went through before she's healing and getting herself together. This woman, okay, a more evolved woman, she ain't giving too much. Bitch, I got one cup right now at this time. I'm not going to even talk about all the cups or what I've been through and how I've been through them. I'm focusing on you and what you got going on and making sure that you're putting your best foot forward out of the three that you have. She's more on game. So maybe you are evolving into this based on what you have been through here. And that's why you changed your hair and the colors. Because you got on blue right here. You got on red. You kind of, you know, mad about some things. It's y'all in your head about some things, you see. Here. With this one, you're more calm, cool, collective, you know. Let's see how this goes, how this works out. I'm not going to make any type of commitments until it's an actual commitment. Moving forward. So that's that on that, for those of you who showed up for that. So that's y'all got a two-part reading. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Got shit to do. Like y'all. Whatever. We need to have a business meeting. We need to meet in the boardroom of the house. Just add another room to the house for the Capricorns and those who are like you all. Y'all can mix and mingle or whatever. We know y'all like people with status and shit like that. Now... What information do you have, my dearest angels, of the highest order for the seagulls? Do you have? What do you have? Y'all the only people. I told you, it's, it's, it's late. It's 3.35 a.m. Central. My hair is acting up. Y'all the last reading out. Y'all the first reading tonight. <clears throat> Spiritual conversation, reading, whatever. That has two, because y'all so special. Y'all have two cards as what you are uh, working through and um, your end result based on all these cards and the way that they are lined up here in this deck. Now, instead of me reading this like I've been reading for everyone else and I've already pre-read some things for you, we're going to go ahead and read these two right here real quick. What this is leading to. Whoever it is playing games, it's going to be revealed. I don't know if someone close to you is going to reveal something to you, but overall, I believe that it's going to come to you as a sign, a dream, a synchronicity. It's coming in some type of way for you to realize that somebody has on a red dress and some red boxer briefs. Third party. Overall, th this may even be um, a new spirit team coming in for you as well. You working with um, women, the divine feminine, and working in a group setting with women as well. But overall... This is a secret being revealed that you must see since you want to be in denial. Since you want to continue to play games. Something is being revealed to someone and it's coming out. It may even be broadcast over the internet in some type of way. But it is coming out and it's, that's just what that is. Brace yourself regardless. If it's not yours, don't take it. Don't make it. Don't, this is a general reading. Don't make it your situation. Going in there. Um, messing with Robert, telling him, wake your ass up. I, I knew you would mess with somebody like, ma'am, 
How he broke his leg. He laying up with a broke leg. You talking about you knew he was messing with somebody. Who is he messing with? Pokemon? Ma'am, uh, don't rock a boat. Uh, you know, don't don't rock the boat, baby. Because your ass is throwing the fuck out. Don't do that. We already talked about that. Calm down. You ain't got no proof. Just out here losing your damn cool. Now... I knew it. I've been watching them readings, and I knew it. Watching what read? It's not even personal. Just done gave this man, and he probably sitting over there like, shit, I wish I did have some more uh, side vagina. If you're going to accuse me of it, I may as well have me some side vagina. If this all you're going to do is act up and do a little scratching, maybe both of y'all can scratch me. See, you got to watch yourself. Men are different. Moving forward. The first card out is you feeling trapped in your head, trapped in a cycle, trapped in a paradigm of some sort. Thank you. Why is Capricorn feeling tied up, confused? Probably got somebody tied up. Tied up, confused, triumphant, and binding. Triumphant in having victory over someone, possibly. Let's see. Maybe that's the advice. No, nope. this is what you need to move away from. So here we are. They're saying here that it's important for you to um, accept your wins as uh, accept your losses as wins. There's no really, there's really no such thing as a loss when you have learned something, you've gained some type of information, knowledge, or what have you for you to use in the future and help other people as well. So it feels like you will be triumphant at pulling yourself out of a situation that you no longer want to be in. You feel like you are um, bound to. And there's the Six of Swords again. You got two Sixes. <clears throat> so you're moving forward. You are doing some healing as well. Here, with this man holding the heart, I really feel like there may be someone that, and the World card. So I feel like there may be someone that um, you will be communicating with that you haven't communicated with in a while. I also feel <clears throat> that there may even be, is something wrong with child throat chakra? Now I was coughing a little bit earlier. But now, it's like a <clears throat> scratchy, itchy. Cinderella leaving the ball. I need to cross my legs. <clears throat> Now, it's some cycle. There's a cycle that is ending here. A cycle is ending and something new is about to take place for you. But it's on you how you get out of this energy. Hmm? Things that toxic people, toxic situations, like I told you earlier. Yeah, this is exactly how the three people that asked me about y'all reading, that's how they built let them know. Now, that's how they built. But I don't, don't want to hear that. Now, it's time for you to let something go. You've played your part in the situation. You've done what you needed to do. You've learned what you needed to learn. It's time for you to let it go. If not, <clears throat> I feel like it's going to take you longer um, to release yourself from this person or this situation here with this devil card right i really feel that there may be some type of temptation on the world wide web someone may be coming back from your past telling you that they want you they like you they they need you but all in all they really just you know can see you um bumping uglies because see this is what these people just got caught doing in the background bumping uglies Moving forward. I do see a Ten of Cups after this World Card. After you allow yourself to heal. After you allow yourself to expand. After you allow yourself to be open to more. What's more? There has to be more out here. This is you standing at the dock of the bay. Watching the time. Whoa, hey. I don't need to know the words. Because I'm a singing motherfucker. Singing motherfuckers don't need to know words. So you move into this ten of, Corp, ten of Cups, you're feeling more stable, energetic. You may even be going to having, um, attending some type of celebration or being invited to a celebration from someone that lives at a distance from you. 
here. If you open to dating and ain't stuck on the other person. <clears throat> yeah. Some of you have some very special children. Uh, they may have had some type of heart issues or were in the NICU when they were young. They may have been prematurely born or something like that. Maybe it's you, baby. But I feel like some of you have some very um, special children and the children pick your partner. Your partner is part of um, the contract. Of course, oh, that's but that's just, oh, no, nah, this is different. You see. The children, it's two children. Not just because they're in this card. I feel like it's two of them. And it may be one and one on the way, but there's two children that brought you and this person together. This is bigger than you and your person. So I guess it's good that it's a Capricorn. Now we're talking to somebody else right here. So I'm assuming that it's good that it's a Capricorn since y'all are not very emotional creatures. That's what I heard about you or whatever. Y'all do have emotions. Oh, woo hoo hoo. Yeah, y'all have emotions. Okay. We talked about it before. The children and the spouse. Um, they're from the same energy realm. That's why they get along the way that they do. They're from the same energy room. They're from the same soul family. Um, they've lived before. So I feel like there's something that's going to be said out of nowhere by one of the children. And the, the, uh, the partner is going to respond in kind. And you're going to be confused as hell. Because it really ain't your business. You're just a character in the play in that moment. Thank you. They're saying that you need to be patient when it comes to getting out of some type of bind, some type of legal, yeah. You're gonna be uh, pulled out of a situation that you may have been contracted to or tied to or um, uh, I think it may be a divorce too. Maybe y'all divorcing someone and y'all finna go marry y'all boo or something. Y'all side gig. I don't know. Y'all greedy. That's why I ain't got no men. Because y'all greedy. Y'all got all the men. Disastrous. Just taking all of them. Ain't but three of them in the world. Men. Argue with me. I don't care. I can't hear you. Look at it. You're gonna be victorious here. I feel like there, um, you as long as you stand in your truth and remain um, on top of what it is that you have going on. This is Leo, of course, with the sun card. This is a new beginning. I'm telling you, if you let all this other stuff go, align with what, align with what serves your highest good. Align with people, situations, your thoughts, feelings, your children, whatever it is. Align with what serves you because you got the door of value over here too. Just hold on, calm down, calm down. This five of swords in reverse is, um, you know, this is some. This has a lot to do with the way that you shine, the way that you do things here, the way that you, um, how optimistic you are about life overall, and you know about this new beginning. You see this new beginning. You are ready to um, accomplish a lot of the goals that you have set out to do in the past. Now you are on that I use, I will, I am type shit, right? Moving forward. But the, the sun card is, you know, they say that's the most beautiful card to get in the deck. With this five of swords in reverse, whatever this is that was supposed to come up against you and hold you back, it's not going to happen. I feel like you're going to rise above it here. <clears throat> because with this five of swords, with this man and this five of swords, what it is is that um, he doesn't know how to let things go, you know. You know a person don't know how to let things go when their head cut off and they just hold their head and still be talking shit. Like, who holds their head and talks shit? Look, I ain't got, look. It's done. They don't want it to be done. Or whatever this is, is that this person may have, um, the grave that, the grave that they dug for you or the demise that they, they sought out for you they ended up having to do it because now the head is upside down i don't know what y'all got going on it's too late over here tonight honey now <clears throat> patience is required for you to see um the fruit of um the work that you have done here recently here 
It's time for you to sit and absorb and uh, see what 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 you relate to and what you don't. What what is of um, importance to you at this time and what is not? Because again, this is a resonant soul. This is a sacral uh, chakra here. So you may want to you know um, eat orange, eat orange, see orange, feel orange, what have you. Get um, listen to some Sofagio, binaural, got meditation, sit in meditation and ask that this be cleared out so that you can um, be your beautiful creative self because you have things to do. Once it's time for you to take action and you get that sacral rocking and rolling, it's going to be um, nothing but forward movement from there. So you get to use your um, very small paws to continue to move forward. Please don't be jealous of these horses. These horses are built different, Capricorn. Don't be jealous of the horses because their body's longer than your little seagoat body. Now, also, some of you are being patient with um, being able to travel or visit or be with someone who lives at a distance from you. I also feel that there may be a family trip that comes in that brings a lot of balance. So, this is coming in like this. This is coming in. This Ace of Wands is uh, clarifying this sacral. Please clear out your sacral chakra. Go ahead and do the work that is necessary. Face the hard truths that you were denying earlier here in the spiritual conversation. Because some of you are turning down the gift, a gift that is coming in for you. I don't want no parts of it. Well, it'll come back around again later. May, this may even be um, a spiritual connection that you are turning down. I really feel like this is a soulmate or maybe even a twin flame. Whatever it is, it's a strong connection with the sacral uh, and this Ace of Wands in reverse, though. Maybe your um, sacral is in reverse and allowing you not to receive the messages in order for you to know what is right and what is not and really get, you know, you may even have leaky gut or something. And that has something to do with it. Doesn't leaky gut have something to do with lymph? Lymph, the lymph, when people have lymphoma, what is it called? Not lymphoma, don't put that out there. Uh, not elephantitis. What is it called, y'all? Capricorns, y'all do be knowing a lot of stuff. Y'all helped me through some very um, interesting times with y'all intuitive ass. Half fish, half uh, goat. I don't even know what that is. Move forward. So you see what you need to do when you are kicking ass and, take, and um, taking names here. Once you get this right here together, this blockage here. I also feel that uh, many of you may even be questioning um, your sexuality. You may be questioning your... This sacral has a lot to do with your connection to your mother, your connection to your womb, your connection to your partner's womb, because it is a little staff right here. A little one. Thank you. For all the seagoats of the male... <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now, you are taking action and moving toward your personal vision, your goals. What is it that you want, how you want... You may even be running to the courthouse and getting married. After you walk through the door of value. Ugh. See, when you do what you're supposed to, how you're supposed to, love, light, and fight. Fight for what you want, not what you don't want. Fight for your right to make things right in your life. By doing so, you help all of us. Thank you. Moving forward. So you're walking through the door of value. There's an increase in value, increase in worth, but also a balancing of karma. So, <laughs> it's your life, baby. Now then, the clock is ticking. Someone finally got the money so that they can get some type of procedure so they can get pregnant. Okay. I also feel... Oh, okay. Let's look at it. <clears throat> See, you got a lot of... This is... You moving into a lot of um, heightened energy here. Uh, some of you may have diarrhea, so you want to make sure that, um, be, be mindful of what it is that you are eating, but also if you are doing any type of cleanses, especially if you are using any type of Epsom salt in your baths or what have you, I don't know your life, but even doing that 
will run right through your system. It loosens up everything. You may even, you know, do your checklist. That's all I can tell you. I'm a firm believer in checklists. So do your checklist because I really feel like there's going to be some a lot of activity of you releasing. Um, once you get past this energy, bumping uglies and not wanting to bump uglies with this person no more or do things um, of the toxic nature from the beginning in that nature, I feel like you're going to have, uh, your digestion is going to, some things are being cleared out of you here. Um, there may be someone coming to visit you to clear some things up. I feel like someone may be moving in or has moved in and they're there a little longer. You want to go ahead and renegotiate like how long you're supposed to be here. This is going to be very important with the with what is going on with you with your vision and your goals because there there may be um I feel like there's one hanger on maybe family or friend or what have you. But there may be one that is um, that may throw you off balance or is coming in because of your increase in wealth and increase in value. Okay. That's it. I'm about to roll up out of here. Oh, some of you are you already knew that you were about to get married, get engaged or something. You saw it in a dream or something like that when you were out near some ice or some some snow or some it was cold that night. Whoop, there it is, yeah. So, I feel like once you got your, your footing, something spiritual happened to you. Maybe you saw your guardian angel, too. Separate. The guardian angel showed you when you were, the time would be for you to get married or when you would have a child. It's all everywhere tonight. coming in it's coming in and if it do I mean you'll be pregnant <laughs> these spiritual conversations are not for everyone especially children and they're surely not for people with insufficient imaginations it's not for people who do not uh, utilize their critical thinking and we just can't have a good time Cause we ain't gonna be here for a long time. We here for a good time. And that's what matters. Kind of, sort of from the book of Drake. I kind of fucked it up. All right, I love y'all. I'm finna go. Because tonight, <clears throat> my voice is leaving. Well, look at that. That means it's time for me to shut the fuck up. Bye.